What's up, Trendy Surfer Squad? So I have a very special treat for you today. My wife actually gave me this really brilliant idea that I should do a running series as time goes along. You know, I'm always going out filming new things, going to places, and I take a lot of drone footage. So today is part one in a series that I'm going to run over the course of time with no specific dates in mind, where I show you five of my favorite spots where I've flown my drone and of course the images and the video that accompanied those spots. Starting from today, this will be part one of the series featuring Trinidad to begin with and over time there'll be many other Trinidad spots. I'll obviously do Tobago as well and yeah we know drone footage is just a really beautiful perspective on Trinidad and Tobago or a good all-around vantage point to see different places and spots when you visit. So I hope you enjoy these five spots. Without further ado, our number one spot today in no particular order of course but we're going to Fort George Trinidad. Now Fort George is a very beautiful historical site located near the St. James Bones Road area. I'm going to give you a little virtual tour of up there and then we'll move on to number two. I hope you guys enjoy. Big up. Well guys, wasn't Fort George is absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend it at sunrise or sunset. Always go in groups though, because of course it's Trinidad and Tobago and you can never be too safe. Up next on our little journey, I take you to one of my favorite little gems up on the Blanchishares course, a spot known as 100 Steps. You may have seen my 100 Steps video before. It is another secluded spot, so if you do ever intend to visit there, go with a group or especially people who may know it has a little bit of a climb down so you've got to be careful but the views the beach and the water especially on a bright sunny day are absolutely spectacular so enjoy these shots and i'll see you at number three <laughs> Well, see what I told you? 
hundred steps is absolutely magnificent. Super beautiful. And that day was particularly beautiful. So up next, we're going to a spot where I got to spend some time with the famous Mark Waynes who recently visited Trinidad and Tobago. Now, there's more to come featuring him on my channel as well as on his channel. So I'm not going to reveal too much at all. That being said, I did manage to get a little bit of drone footage on a trip that we went to the Karani Swamp. And I hope you enjoy this footage. I'm going to go back there and get some better footage in the future. But that place is magnificent if you've never been to the Karani Swamp. The amazing birds and just the views, but especially views by drone. So check it out, guys. Enjoy number three. it is pretty beautiful right you gotta go and check that place out honestly nanan's bird tours there fantastic so that was number three but not to be confused with number four which is three pools located in blanchichers trinidad is truly a beautiful place that i highly recommend anybody visit now this place is fairly safe and fairly straightforward for a hike however there have been reports of people occasionally having their cars broken into so again i recommend going in groups Unfortunately, there's no real way to secure your car when you leave it and go on a hike unless you pay somebody to stay there and watch it all day. But this is unfortunately a risk of living in Trinidad and Tobago. Luckily, 95% of the time, break-ins do not occur. But fair warning, anything is possible. But don't let that destroy the views of this beautiful Three Pools River, as well as a little glimpse of the Marion River heading out to Marion Bay. Enjoy, guys. Three Pools had to be one of my favorite places to visit on the um, north coast of Trinidad and Tobago. One of my favorite places on the whole. I really like that spot. I've been going there since I was a little boy. So that was number four and we're now on to number five which is our last vid for the day. And it features the beautiful Maracas waterfall. One of the tallest waterfalls in Trinidad. Jono and I went there for a day and we did make a vlog on it. And we got the most beautiful rainbow as the drone glided up the super tall rock face with all the mist falling from the waterfalls so enjoy number five guys thank you for watching the videos if you're liking it like and subscribe you know i try to come with something every sunday or at least once a week for you guys and i love all the support i'm receiving i really appreciate it 
check out number five. That's the beautiful Maracas waterfall. Now, guys, Trinidad is filled with so much beauty. And Tobago, for that matter, not even I have to say that, you know, Tobago is outrageously beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this little Kong Dong. I will do more like this in the future. Please feel free to check out these spots whenever you get a chance. Explore your country, keep it very clean, and have a fantastic week. Again, like and subscribe, please, if you enjoy any content. It really helps me grow big time, helps me be motivated to keep doing all this work for these vlogs. But I really want to support Trinidad and I really hope you guys can keep on enjoying this content well into the future. Have a fantastic blessed week everybody and let me leave you a little clip of what you can expect in future videos like this. Thank you very much and that's been my five videos for the week part one. See you guys in a few weeks with another video like this. Bless up.